All right, what's up, everybody? I uh, normally don't hear that sound. What's happening? <laughs> Interesting. All right. Um, <laughs> sorry, that just had me shook there. Uh, I'm back with some NCAA football, um, and I uh, have just one game that I'm probably going to play tonight, um, just to just to make sure that they can advance. Um, I've been kind of trying to focus a little bit on like YouTube uploads and talking with different editors lately, so I haven't been streaming as much, and I got sick over the weekend, so I took a break there when I was supposed to play Mass Effect, but um, we're going to go ahead and get right back into NCAA here so that um, we can advance this online dynasty with my buddies. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just hop into gameplay so you guys can see where we're at, but we got UConn. Okay, I don't know why I'm hearing that noise. I shouldn't be able to hear that noise. I like that I can, but I want to make sure that you guys are hearing it too. But like, hmm. oh, that's my phone noise. I got noises all over the place that I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know where they're coming from or how I'm hearing them. <laughs> so, um, basically, I took care of recruiting already, so we should be good on the recruiting. Um, I'm really curious. Sorry, I just really want to investigate this. Because I don't want that to be a thing that could interrupt something. But I'm happy to be hearing it because I, that helps me know that my alerts and stuff are actually playing properly, so I need to find out how this is happening because this has not happened before. So I need to be able to see how I can do this in the future so that you know I can hear whenever I get different sound alerts and stuff like that. That would be sweet. Try that again one, one more. So ah. Uh, you guys going on here now? I've never been able to hear that before. It's always like I'm pretty sure it's always the microphone that cut that out. I'm so lost. Excited that this is a problem that I didn't think that there was a workaround for, but all of a sudden it's happening like automatically. So cool. All right, so as you can see, we're playing number 18 Florida State this week, which is huge for us because we're right on the brink of being ranked. If you go look at the top 25, um, you can see that we are at rank 26. <laughs> of course, just barely left out of the top 25, all because Notre Dame had to be two and three somehow whenever we played them, even though they were a 99 overall team. A lot of shit this season is not making sense. Um, I had one bad game that I'm really kind of hanging over from, in my opinion. Um, it was just a little bit of a depressing loss. Not because not because my opponent didn't play well, he really did. Um, but I had a glitch happening the entire game. If you want to go back and look at that, it's on YouTube. But I basically did some formation substitutions, which I've believe I've fixed. I, I, this game will be the test, and if it, this game doesn't work, then I'm gonna have to do something next game, like probably just reset to default formation substitutions and probably just manipulate my depth chart. Um, Cause I need certain receivers in certain spots and I need certain running backs in certain spots. So it's kind of, it just gets kind of frustrating um, very quickly uh, that these formation substitutions are kind of, you know, freaking out on me. So like I put Ross there in the flex bone and he's 
in the slot in some of these like there so we're gonna have to test during this game pretty much everything to make sure uh, that we don't have that glitch again because that, I, I mean I hate to say it this way but that really cost me that glitch and then my quarterback not handing off the ball glitch really ended up costing me that Tulsa game so let's go ahead and just dive right into the game and we'll see uh, We'll see if all these controls are working for us today and uh, if we've got what it takes to to take down a ranked Florida State to get into the top 25. That's the goal today. So, Oh, yeah, I did. I was able to finally fix my... I don't know if you guys can see, but I have the extender on this right stick, and that, that helps me tremendously in shooter games, mostly. But it's also it's a comfort thing now. It's like something that I'm just used to. Um, it does kind of help with jukes, I guess, in this game a little bit. It helps with some of the juking and spins and stuff. It's a little bit more over-exaggerated, which, you know, can kind of help, um, you know, with, like, more touchy things that the right stick would require. So, uh, it doesn't give well, much of an advantage in, studio, in this game at all, but in shooter games, it gives a huge advantage. So. NCAA football 14 pregame show it kept popping off on me the last time, and it kind of jacked up. It, like, took chunks out of the right Nobody stick on my controller, so I'm really kind of hoping that this stays put. I think it's just because I got super aggressive with it when I'm juking and, and, and spinning and stuff. Five pass off of man, I never. I was hoping that I was going to be a rushing team this season, and then the first week of the season, and it looked like it was going to be the case when we played in North Texas. Bruton had a huge game, man. And then ever since that game, it's just gotten worse and worse. Ooh, I also still need to look in that playbook to find some other pistol runs. Maybe we'll do that after this game's over. I just need faster hitting running plays from the pistol formation. Because the ones, the dives just are too, they take too long to develop. They're not, they're not quick hitters at all. <clears throat> they're, it's actually very frustrating that they would even call that a dive. Like, you know, call it a, call it a fake option handoff or something like that. But call it a dive when it's not really a dive play. Good return by Ross. Of course, we've had another rain game. Man, we've had a lot of rain games so far this season, too. Goes out there. That's he frustrating. In practice every day. I think he really lifts the whole offense. I think he does. I think he's almost like having an extension oh, right, from the coaching staff into the locker room with the players. He's a guy that makes big plays, but I think he takes so, it upon himself to be able to help out. As you can see, Ross is in the slot. Make sure that they're all. This the is the main page. play that we need to make that sure the routes don't get fucked up. Everything that goes on with being a wide and receiver and the importance of blocking. So all the little things that, that seem to vital. add up and make big plays. Now, we, audible, I think this guy good. totally understands his sense. responsibilities. Being Cool. Fucking it. <laughs> right off the bat, really. He's tackled the 39 yard line. Right catch <laughs> oh by the linebacker. I'm trying to lead him and then he just the fucking fades up field. Like I wonder if it's the rain sometimes, man. This is not a good start at all. Alright, well. Got one mistake out of the way. Hopefully it's the last. Ball on the 39. Nice. Get him in the backfield, and the linebacker comes up and makes a big stop. This is textbook. This is how good you're play, supposed to play, play against the run. Man left, man left. I'm watching that running back screen. There's a strike complete. And he shoved on I, why and is it that tight ends that I only my opposing tight ends like the, the tight ends that I'm going up against seem to just never get brought down looks like they might be bringing some pressure here we'll go make a play man down at the 18-yard watching Maybe flat footed a nice run like that you try to go up in the air for the play I should just blitz them check 
to come up with a sack. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just um, the right amount of pressure. I might try to bring pressure right one more time. And it seemed to yeah, confuse let's go ahead the and do offense. It. If, I, if we keep pushing back, maybe, but we will eventually get to the point if they're really this close to where we get away from the hole. He unloads it. Good throw, caught, touchdown. Well, it's not a good way to start the game off. But I think that we at least fixed the glitch that we just, you know, we're trying to to resolve because the last game that we played, that glitch really, really killed us with the formation substitutions. So, you know, the hope is that we can move forward without having that happen to us again. Because as long as that happens, then I think that game plan wise will be fine. But obviously, this is going to be a big game of testing all of our formations with the different substitutions and making sure that nothing's broken like it was the last game. The Huskies have a player that's up for national awards. It's all speculation right now. You can talk about What do you have to do to get into one of your dynasties? Um, Honestly, I, I don't know. I'm not the commissioner, um, so I guess it would just be to talk to the commish. Uh, and I guess uh, can shake off that I haven't actually even approached him to see if uh, he would be open he to letting to other guys in the dynasty yet. So that's something that I would receivers. have to talk with him, obviously, about. Um, but I could definitely hit him up, and if you want to send me a whisper or a message on here, then I can let you know whatever they come to decision on. Uh, why is that guy? Yeah, are you kidding me? There's a blanket we had around we that receiver. Somebody else had but yeah, I mean, uh, Second down, ten to we're go. about halfway Ball through this one, so it'd probably be about two, three weeks before we before we moved on to another season and let anybody in. But um, if you want to, just send me your information or your Xbox. We play on Xbox 360. So if you want to send me your gamer tag, then I could let the commissioner know that we got a guy that's interested, and in, you know we'll all talk about it obviously as a as a as a group, because we just have a Facebook chat <laughs> that we all just talk about. Hey, so and so needs to play this game, and so and so just has one more week of recruiting to worry about. So we try to just keep up with everything in the group. Oh, he scrambled. Room around the corner. And they push him out around the four. See, my quarterback seems to be able to drop people, well which is ridiculous. Able to get a but gain in a first nobody game. else on my team seems to have that kind of explosiveness. <laughs> first down, 10 to go. Ball on the 48. Well, hey, I think that I was able to resolve the, the glitch that we had with our formation substitutions. Which is good enough. Makes it to the 41. There's nothing more effective than a That was really frustrating. The last game that oh, DJ Fast, thanks right for the follow. The defense, I appreciate it. To wear them down. <laughs> Welcome to the community. We play a lot of football here, and I do play some horror games as well. So if you're into Fear and Silent Hill and some of those games, I play I play those a lot right now because I can only stream on my 360 and PlayStation 2 at the moment. I'm going to be getting an updated capture card soon that will allow me to hopefully get over to some Xbox One and some PlayStation 4 games. Because um, I have like Until Dawn and, and some other like Pine, Pine View Drive and some other like next gen games that I want to play. But it's, you know, I got to save up the money first to get the better capture card. <laughs> it's all a process. Second down and seven. Ball on the 38. Makes it to the 27. They've obviously found the formula for moving the ball against this defense. Let's see if any adjustments are made before their backs are really against the wall. <clears throat> That's right. I wanted to look at more pistol running plays after this game, too. I like the pistol running plays. They just take too long to develop for some reason. I don't know what the what the reasoning was behind the pistol rushing plays um taking so long to develop like it's like they all have like a fake option on the end of them and so they don't get the hold nearly as fast as they need to to be successful so we're gonna look into something like that what one do you have the other no, I have like a Zazluk. It was like a, it was my first capture card, so I just got like a really, really cheap one. Um, it was like 60 bucks on Amazon. So I haven't gotten an Elgato yet, but I think that's what I'm probably going to upgrade to. 
I'm worried though. I kind of wish that I could troubleshoot it a little bit more because I it also could be just this monitor that I'm playing on is not. Um, you know what I mean? It's not nearly as uh, as nice as it needs to be to play like a next gen console. So I I might actually have a buddy of mine come over and see if I can use his just for a stream to make sure that it's really the capture card because it could be my monitor too. I might need to upgrade that. So. Oh, hold your block, Ross. The -yard line. Solar Chris, hello, welcome to the stream. Oh, thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. That was fantastic <clears throat> we play a lot of NCAA football around here, so if that's what you're into, man, this is the place to be. HD60 is only one Yours wasn't to the that bad. Zone. Yeah, I, the reviews that I saw on it said that it would do everything that I needed it to do, but then for some reason I'm just having trouble with this, so I am worried that Stanley maybe Gump. it's... Okay, Marion? Okay, boss? I am worried that it's uh, it might be the monitor instead of the capture card, but I feel, I have a feeling it's the capture card. Plus, I think that the Elgato is a, a better made capture card anyway, so it probably still wouldn't hurt to invest in even if I find out that the monitor was the real issue. How are you doing? I'm doing good today. I'm, I'm much better now than I'm streaming on Twitch because it's been... I had a rough day at work. Actually, not even a rough day. My day at work was easy because we had technical difficulties, so all of our systems went down. Why did I just go for two? I'm just in a zone right now. All of our uh, all of our systems went down at work, and so I didn't have a whole lot to do, which was fine. Um, but then uh, it's like funny because I get home and I was ready to stream like two hours ago. All of a sudden, OneDrive updates and automatically starts moving all of my files from my PC to the cloud. And it's all gone. So then I open up my OBS and I'm getting ready to stream and it can't find any of my backgrounds or my, my you know, my panels or nothing like that from my stream because it's no longer on my freaking computer. So I call Microsoft and I, I of course, you know, yell at some poor guy that, that, you know, it's not his fault at all, but I'm just frustrated. <laughs> so this guy, thankfully, in like a half hour we spent on the phone, he helps me find a workaround to get everything back from the cloud onto my computer because I didn't even have the app for OneDrive. So I'm like, why, why did it start updating OneDrive and then, I don't know, it's just ridiculous. Angelus, man, hey, how you doing, man? Thanks for stopping by. Hey, I like those, uh, I like those emotes, man. Those are sweet. Ah, uh, get... We're in position. We just need to make, make a play. I guess he was getting blocked. So. Well, here the quarterback makes a poor decision, throwing into coverage. Ben, don't break. Ben, don't break. What's in the house here? And third receiver. They need about three yards to get the first yeah, welcome everybody to the stream. Yeah. Technical difficulties, though, had me delayed, so that's why I'm on here a little bit later than usual. So it's just, uh, I don't know, it's a frustrating thing. And now he's got room to run. Really? He's at the Who is 30 this? To the 20. Huge gain, and that sets him up nicely with a first. Doing my GSU the dynasty at the moment. Facing Arkansas State, really? GSU, is that Georgia Southern? I've not played one with Georgia Southern. I think that I was uh, debating doing a Georgia Southern one uh, until I got the updated rosters. Really, guys? Okay, well, we need to put on. I need to make some adjustments there. <laughs> I just figured, okay, if you have it as balanced, wouldn't you think that, like, they ha we have two guys coming off the edge, maybe one would go running back and the other would go quarterback in balanced? You know what I mean? I would think that quarterback and Tane, if we want to go aggressive, that would mean that they both go quarterback, and balanced would say one goes the other, one goes to quarterback, and then conservative would mean both go to running back. So, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, Georgia, Georgia State? Georgia State's in this game? Really? I Well, I'm no longer going to allow that quarterback to do what he's doing to me. So, <laughs> adjustments made. <laughs> and hopefully that stops it. Why did I go for two earlier? I'm really confused on why I did that. 
A five play, I didn't even notice, I guess. Drive, and they put up seven points. And the big plays that they had running the football were the keys to that drive. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this So what, what conference is Georgia State in? Are they, uh, did you move them to a different conference, or did you, uh, you just been using them in their base conference? Across midfield, and they bring him down. Season the three, Fred, this is my kind of game. Roster. I love seeing this kind so of Season one, they were 60 overall. Nice, nice. Okay, so it's a rebuilding project. That's fun. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, when the game came out. That makes sense. Okay. Let me see. I really, really like this formation a lot. And I always, game, I always so leave my impact player in the slot. Still in the Things Sun Belt. That's cool. Do you plan on moving them at all eventually, or are you going to leave them in there? Because I, I love rebuilding projects, but I feel like you always have to eventually move them into... Okay, gotcha. You're moving to the ACC. That's cool. Because, yeah, you have to if you want to get, like, the good bowl games and stuff like that because of the... I guess you could turn off the, the, the automatic bowl picks and stuff like that, but... It's second and five here. I don't know. It's also just Ball harder to get a, a good enough um, schedule to be a high-ranked, you know, team in that. So it can it can cost you in the long run. Scrambling around. Nice catch. I didn't like throwing that ball at all, but it was all that I had there. Now they talked about doing this, but I didn't think we'd see the hurry up this early. Marion might be open. Here. He lets it go. Complete. It's the junior. What a play. Knocked out of bounds. And okay. it's gonna be first and goal. Sadly starting my backup quarterback. Shaping up to be a good one. By choice or for an injury. But sometimes I understand that. I, I prefer to have a scrambling quarterback in this game. So even if my starting quarterback, my number one guy, is a better quarterback rating wise. If I've got a guy that's faster behind him, I'll be using him because I think that the speed in this game just kills. Make the stop it's way too important. Line. What do you mean zero yard rush? I thought he fell forward there. Starter's injured. Gotcha. Is the team very young? Like, do you think that you'll they'll you'll have a lot of those guys around for a while, or do you think uh, actually let's go to the pistol here? So, you, like, do you have a young team, or do you think that you're going to be losing a lot of seniors after the season? It's second and goal. Four yards out. Oh, yeah, they want us to run the ball. Okay. All we have to do is combo to the impact backer. That's all we have to do to score here. Oh, we didn't even combo. Touchdown, okay. Connecticut. You can do that, too. The backup is a scrambler, but his accuracy is crap. He can't hold on the ball. Oh, that sucks. I hate when I get a scrambling quarterback that has no carry rating whatsoever. And they just fumble all over the place. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Yep, that can be tough. But hey, 67 overall after your first season is, is a solid boost. Um, all right, let's go for two. For some fucking reason, I went for two so earlier. The kicker's gonna stay on Why the did I even do that? These guys will try for a two-point conversion. Uh, I don't like this formation. Oh no, Ross, get in there. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. Uh, why did I go for two? Luckily, the starter QB is a freshman. Okay, so you're gonna get, you're gonna be able to build him up for a while. I do appreciate how like all the all the players in this game do get better over time, but they clearly give uh, the guys that you use the most and like have the best stats the biggest uh, boost at the end of the season. So like, you know, going into the next season, how they how they get better. Um, I think that that's that's a really smart move on their part because then if you if you are willing to start freshman and you it's somebody that you'll use and has abilities that you would you know be able to. And with so little separation, to, this to use in order to, um, on just one or two plays. you know, disrupt and, and take advantage of weaknesses, then that player will get better faster than the others. So you can take a freshman quarterback with a scrambler and just use the shit out of him and get good stats, and it really will improve him, even though he wasn't like a five-star recruit or anything like that. All right, let's watch this quarterback with a spy here. It out, and that was almost picked off. 
Why do we drop every single interception in our hands? <laughs> Does anybody else have this happen to them, or is it just me? Where it's like, the easiest interceptions can just never be, you know what I mean? Screen, screen, screen. I had a spy on over there, and he didn't even snip out the screen. That's all right, we get the ball back. Average overall for Knit is 65. Okay, that's not bad at all. Not, not at all from starting out that small of school, actually. Yeah, I have an offline dynasty. So this is my online dynasty where I got oh, UConn. There's a bunch of other guys that have other teams. And we all chose... This is season four, and this I think. One is yeah, this is season four. We all started out with two-star teams uh, with the updated 2020 the rosters. And uh, we've been line. rebuilding them. So I took UConn into the ACC, and we've been rebuilding. I have an offline dynasty, too, where I took New Mexico State. And I've been trying to rebuild them. Really my best wide receiver is also a freshman. My cornerbacks suck. Way. Dude, my cornerbacks in this game are terrible. It is. Uh, it must just be a thing. <laughs> I'll keep him in bounds next time. Uh, try a little bit of flood. A little bit of flood. Quarterback rolling out of the pocket. Technically, my best quarterback is 71. That's not bad, though. That, I mean, is he young? Is he is he going to be around a while? Because then that would be sweet. He's at the 20. Nice. He's pushed out of bounds at the 15. Quarterback, I think, is my leading rusher today. Maybe. They're pro he's probably pretty close to proving. From the 15-yard line. It's first down. Let's see if we can get Ross open in that back end zone. I just saw the pressure coming, so I just unloaded it to the running back. But he's a transfer, so I have to sit out. For oh, okay, I gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, that sucks. I, I still hate the transfer rule, man. If somebody wants to go somewhere else, let them go somewhere else. Let them play ball. You know? Nice. Okay. So now do I continue trying to go for two? I think I should. So the offense is going to go for two. I don't know why I'm going for two. It's really irritating that I even pulled this off. Okay, let's do it this way. There we go. That little slant out, man. Alright. I need to start testing some of the other plays in the playbook because I these formation substitutions I've got to make sure they don't Taken glitch on me the again because the last time I did this they glitched on me hardcore and I lost a user game because of it so my backup 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 quarterback is even worse <laughs> well yeah you don't it's not a good sign when you get down to the backup backup quarterback at that point aren't you just turn into a wildcat offense anyway <laughs> pretty much Why did it select the wrong player? It does that all the time. Let's bring some pressure and a little bit of a disguise zone blitz here. That's what you get. Second down, 14 coming up here. Ball on the 29 yard line. And he's taken Damn, I put all those linebackers right there, too, and none of them did anything. <laughs> Let's bring the pressure. And they might be coming with a blitz here. Scrambling. Keeps it and he'll score. 
He's at the 40. What do you call that? And then he's just going to, oh my gosh. It's Tim Tebow. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We got to take another look at this. Comes off the edge. Oh, let me just kiss you on the cheek. Just a little, just a little kissy on the cheek. Kiss on the cheek. And you're out. I don't get it, man. Can I give a quarterback a contract to come play? <laughs> right. <laughs> Anybody, please. He's tackled at the 31. Ugh. There might not be a more naturally gifted defender in the No country. more kisses on the he cheek, man. Come on. Easy. From the 31 yard line. Second down. Nice. Man, it's an offensive field goal range here. Holy shit, that's a lot of wide receivers and tight ends. You gotta be kidding me. First run of my running back fumbles. <laughs> oh, shit. Get, oh, get there, get there, get there. Okay, it's okay. Just gotta rally. The defense would have liked to have prevented okay, I'm gonna call timeout so I get the ball back. The important thing is that they held and brought up fourth down. The Huskies taking their first time out of the Oh, his knee might have been down. Do you ever get um what are they called? Do you ever get like reviews? I never goal. get them. Like they they're never for me. Anytime that's a booth review, it's always for the other team. It's always trying to help them out. Who just fucking false started? Oh, that's on them. It's so tough to move the ball forward. Even a five-yard setback can do damage to a drive. As long as the clock's not running, you can false start another couple more times. <laughs> Sometimes, yeah, it's not often for me. I feel like any time the booth reviews anything, it's for something that could potentially hurt me. It's never for something that could benefit me. And I always feel like there's times that, like, I'm like, he might have got a foot in my receiver at the sideline. Never get a booth review. I'm like, are you kidding me, dude? They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. I shouldn't have returned this. I should have just taken the time. But he's been having some success today, and I just watched it. Seventeen-yard line. Offensive staff, I think, done a good job. All right, let's try some of these other formations here. Not having great stats, he's part of it. And to make sure. I was picking up his slack, I think. Well, this offense is still putting points on the board, and I think at times they're actually using the wide receiver, the go-to man, who's drawing so much attention. Really, as a decoy, to open up other avenues of this offense. You've seen other receivers make some plays. Yeah, They're running this is the all right. So it'll be interesting to see so what kind of adjustments this. this defense makes to try to slow down these other members of this offense. And That's you know, maybe good. that could open it back up for that marquee receiver. This looks great. Yes. Get out of He's knocked out of bounds at the 34. Just a minute to sure. go with the first half of play. Go from there. Connecticut is up by three. Here. Goes to the right place. Now he tries to buy some time. Oh, you're kidding me, dude. I was going to say, like, that should be pass interference. But it, the game will never call it pass interference because they're accidentally running into each other. Ugh. All right, well. It's second and ten. What other plays do I need to check? This one. Oh yeah. This is a good one, actually. Let's take a timeout there. You guys are getting tired anyway. Third 
going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Oh, yeah, this is what we want. Fires incomplete. He was looking for the tight end. And that'll bring up a punting situation. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass. And they defended the play very well in the secondary. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Well, I'm not sure I really agree with this call to go for it, but that's why I'm not coaching, folks. I Marion to get better at getting off the press, bro. He's going to try and scramble. And they push him out. That's a big-ass linebacker out. chasing me down. I got scary. Seems to be working. I was so irritated today when my computer all of a sudden just had all of my files wiped off of it. We've got I was just my OBS was broken. I was like, you gotta be kidding Connecticut me. Holds a field goal lead. For such a good day at work, I mean, it just could not have gotten any worse. <laughs> I need to try another audible after this, though. Oh, and he sat. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Right, don't nice have time play. for an audible now. He scrambled. Brought down at the 45 yard line. The Huskies using their I had to take the time out because I didn't have. I wanted him to get out of bounds there. He didn't keep going to the sideline. Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome. All right, let's try another audible play. here. This is the eighth play of this drive. Mm -hmm. so if we go here. I like this audible, except for now I have a full back out at wide receiver. <laughs> What's this audible? Oh, yes, I do remember this one. This is probably a good one, actually. I think I'll hit Bruton or Ross. Ah, shit. Well, he was gonna... I don't know why he took he took a really long break there. He didn't he didn't cut very. Yeah, he shouldn't he should have rounded it. I don't know why he just fucking broke down and planted there. I was expecting a speed cut for sure, and then I would hit that open window. But from their own forty yard line. Yes, not. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Got a man in and out of his hands. I know this quarterback trusts his arm and his receivers, but he's got to know when not to throw the ball. He didn't have any room at all, and he's lucky it wasn't intercepted. Keep bringing pressure. I don't think anything crazy is going to happen. Watch the screen. Let's it fly. Stays in bounds to make a nice yeah, catch. Nice looking anything. play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great I recognition need to get by the pressure, to the but I need receiver. to defend deep. Let's go cover First down, four. 10 yards to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. And we'll probably see how far he can throw it as it should be the last play before the half. He's under some heat. And he's going to come up with a sack. <laughs> they really called the timeout. Ugh. I use... Wait, what? I have to sim defense. My user defense sucks. I got a user interception as I said that. There you go, man. <laughs> From their own 46 yard line, it's second down. I guess he'll throw this one as play. Far it's not letting me change play. That's not good. He's going to go for the home run. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped. See, my defense would have gotten the interception right there when we. Didn't We've need it. We just need to swap the ball around. They'll decide offense. to pick that one off. But in a game when it's like, to you know, third and whatever, and, you know, they're trying to score to, to tie, that's when they decide to drop the picks to give them another chance. He'll return it from the three. 
They'll bring him down. If we just got the interception, the drive would have been over. We would have gotten out of this, but nope. It's not how they saw it. All right. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. On the run. And down he goes at the 22 yard line. Ooh, I'm on Mountain Dew. It's a struggle. It looks like they're gonna blitz. Is that a sign? Sign times are changing, things are turning around. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That'll bring up 36. Let's bring the pressure. Quick throw. And they make the stop. We bring the pressure, guys. We gotta get there. And my corners need to stop giving up the slant. And man, we don't do that. That's a great tackle at the 40. Got some pressure and forced a bad pass. Nice I think they've been a little bit more aggressive right. here with their pass rush, and that time let's get a stop here for once, please. I don't want to have to give up another field goal. Man. Receiver is expected to make something happen after the reception, but the defense wasn't giving up anything. Ross will be the return man. Booming kick. And he can't hang on to the ball. Why didn't we just fumble that? He just couldn't pull that one What is happening? Brad, that's what happened. Is the rain really messing with you? <laughs> Ross never fumbles. All right, let's try. Um, I want to try this. They'll take over here. Ready I'm to start a new sure. series. This is a good play. Here. Connecticut has a three-point lead. Fakes the handoff. Defense coming. And if he throws it, this one's going to be intercepted. Well, that's what we get for experimenting. And he's tackled at the four-yard line. Spectacular play there. Yeah, I've thrown three interceptions with that interception. I don't my even quarterback. Think the quarterback that's not good. Saw him on that play. All right, right enough there, experimenting. We got to get back to actually caring about the outcome of this game. Yes, yes, yes. Tackle. Damn, right I was going to say it. Like, I felt like I was getting hold. Comes away with two yards on the carry. First pick six in Georgia State history, and that was a user one. Nice. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, come on, man. This is no what way. an offensive lineman hopes for. An opportunity to impose his will on the defense. But I'll tell you, a so frustrating. Lead is not a great play call. One, I even had like the this. user that was going to make the and tackle for loss. And just the computer decides, so nope. And then we're not only going to allow you to stiff points. arm, you know, a fucking blitzing corner. We're going to also make it to where everybody else in the field just fucking sits there and watches instead of pursues. <laughs> okay. He's to the 20. Time to get cereal. Game. Obviously, they're both very, very competitive with one another. It just seems that the lead is going back and forth between the two teams. The offense will take the field, this hoping one, for a better result than their last drive. So much in football is about this one might make more sense. The other one was way too crazy. After a turnover is a perfect example of that. 
He's on the run. Incomplete. And that wasn't the greatest pass of the world. I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. Mr. Bean down 21. Nice. Second down and That's a pretty solid comeback. Ball on the 27 yard line. You going in halftime? Freshman free safety. Yeah. 63 yard pick six. Alright. Drayton, I know you're going to be open, man. Throwing right. Here. Great catch and he's that, boys. They're in zone, too. They're not even playing man. Now it's right. first and ten after the big pass play. We're going to have Ross drag underneath. Let's see what Marion decides to do. Scrambling around. On the run, gets it to his man. He's taken down at the third. Probably waited a little bit too long to just give it to him he probably got a good, could have got a first down if I would have made the decision faster he's scrambling under pressure he heaves it deep swatted away that's what the defensive back I coach likes to see his kids reacting when the ball is in the air and then making the play late. that'll bring up third and two it's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Why is Ross Back out? Quarterback into the game now. Ross the signal. Now he's scrambling. Complete. He's got room. And he's nice. taken down at the 17. All right. Oh, my God. I got all backup receivers coming in here. Everybody's tired all of a sudden. What the hell? able to get back in the lineup. And what tight ends out there? Ooh. Drayton and Dorch. We're gonna see what you guys got. Not anything. Now he tries to buy some time. He's under pressure. He's pushed out of bounds. Why is my quarterback out? He never had a chance to get going. I just noticed that my guy was a lot faster. Ooh. Yeah, we'll sub in. What the shit is this? It's huh? second and eleven. Ball on the nineteen. Call this. I call this crap. He's gonna try and scramble. Here comes the pressure. Lost the ball. Fumble. So it's the cornerback that comes up with a fumble, and this, this is a scrambling quarterback, man. He's supposed to be able to fucking cover the ball. It's hard to get into a rhythm when you make mistakes like that. I don't have words at the moment. The offense was able to punch it in the end zone on that last drive. They'll come back out looking for more of the same. Florida State holds a four-point lead. He rifles it to the left. The defender has Jones. hands on it, but it's incomplete. What are you doing? Why can we not intercept those easy ones, man? <laughs> you know? Oh, it's almost halftime years. Let's go here. From their own 17 yard line, it's second down. Made around the 15 yard line. Of two by the Come on, guys. Is, uh, I'm gonna have to find out how to win with my backup quarterback at the moment. I'm not a fan of this. Let's just keep bringing the pressure to do this. The only thing that really seems to work. There we go. He's gonna be sacked for a loss. Only thing that's working right now is bringing pressure, unfortunately. The sack makes this a fourth and very low. Ross is back to receive. Oh my goodness. Brown fields it at the 50. The oh hell? man, he took him down hard. 
the Seminoles were really excited when they got this guy. Personally, pointed it right to where my guy was standing, so he took over the kick. Top recruit, a great talent. There's tackle number one. This game. All right. They coughed up the big skin the last time they had the ball. Let's see if they can hold on to it this time. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. He scrambles. Catches it, and he's looking for more. They'll bring him down at the 21-yard line. Nice job, rookie. Your man out there. So the sack makes this a second and long. He's on the run, and they get the sack. Boy, this defense really came to play today. That well, defensive end on the right side is really irritating me super badly. They sure stuck to that plan. Super bad. You guys can't seriously be in man coverage, right? No way that's a thing. Throws this one out to the right. You guys were really in man. Touchdown, Husky! They were really in man. <laughs> I mean man free. But uh. and for great. He takes his receiving yardage total to 100. Well, this guy is such a big part of this offense. If he doesn't get his numbers, they usually don't have much success moving the football. Oh, my Time God. To go up by three. They'll kick the extra point. Just cut and blocks to the line with that. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? Since in Pittsburgh, huh? Piccoli gets set to kick this one away. Taken from the three-yard line. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running. Bringing the pressure. What's been working? I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. He's tackled around the 37-yard line. He makes the tackle at the 37-yard line. That makes it first and ten. They might be coming here. Quick throw. Drop down. At about the 41. We head to the final quarter, and we've got a great game on our hands. 27-24. Also, replays of interceptions of the, that I've thrown. <laughs> what a smack in the face. Three, three quarters of action. Tight ball game. And now it's the fourth quarter, and this will decide it. Nice. Lose yards. Where in the world was he going on that run? Well, that's a good question. I thought for a while he got his directions messed up. Biggest third down and long of the football game right here in the fourth quarter. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Ready, green, and, and they got him. Sometimes Boom, it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. Let's not return it with the D tackle again. <laughs> Ross is back deep to return the punt. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. He's to the 40. He yeah. makes it out to maybe the 46 yards. I was hoping I'd squeak through a little cutback there. Rolling on offense, and they look at the scoreboard, and it's still a tight ball game. I can't believe that this is still a close <laughs> game. As you said, they, they have such a huge advantage, and yet it's a tight game. They've just blown too many opportunities. Okay, are there any other formations? I think I wanted to check this one, didn't I? You know this yes. is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. I wanted to see what would happen if Connecticut I is up by three. Under heavy pressure. And they got it. It's a big time effort sack by the defensive uh -oh. end. I want to also give some credit to the coverage downfield. 
the end never gave up on the play, but because the quarterback didn't have anywhere to go with the football, it gave really, the, the only play that I have any interest in running out of this. Quarterback down for that sack. Defense looking for another sack here on the second and 13 situation. Let's see if I can get this again. He's under some heat. Pulls it in first down, one. and he's not going to bounce. Yeah, nice little uh, hidden play. All right. Ooh, we got another one here. It's first and ten. So this should be, I mean, this should be identical almost. Why am I playing so poorly today? Like, really not good. <laughs> Could this be a big Ross play, maybe? Mm, fuck, why not? Just throw to the tight end. And down he goes at the 14 yard line. See if that opens up. I don't think there's any other Ross plays in here, though. If, I mean, if this one works, whew, wouldn't this be a sweet, like, little seam pass throw underneath the fucking uh, field goal up there? Oh my gosh, really? Come on, O line. What the hell are we doing? Justin, what's up? Sorry, but go Knowles. No, I understand, man. <laughs> they've they've been giving me a tough time today. <laughs> well, after that injury, we'll get to see the backup quarterback here. I just want to see. I'm kind of testing out some plays right now, and I want to see if this one will end up working. Uh, I probably could have hit it. Why is uh, my quarterback back out? Just big chilling. Yeah, I feel that, man. Thing. Yeah, mesh is probably the right one. From the twenty yard line. Just ribs will return soon. Just keep him out, man. <clears throat> I don't need him getting any more hurt. He's under pressure, and he's gonna be sacked. You can't take sacks Fuck. like that in a quarterback. He just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the yeah, ball no, away. I don't need him in here right now. I don't think that my kicker can make this in the rain, I'm not gonna lie. It's not yeah. Fourth and long here I'm not trying to just, you know, go for it here for no reason. It's I my kicker this year is horrible. Room, can you make something happen, big dog? Please. This one's going deep to the end zone. Not sure about that play call as they mm, fail Forgot the about that. Be my backup quarterback, I think. All right, well. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, they're gonna, gonna make it hard on me. A very different ball game. Less than three minutes in the game. Makes a catch and he's got nowhere to go. Here comes no huddle. Looks like they might be bringing some pressure here. I was gonna say I sniffed at that screen, but I didn't see the running back really breaking out fast enough for it to mean anything to me. <sighs> Shit, do I play the zone here? No, we do what's worked all game, man. We send the pressure. It's third down and seven to go. Ball and send the pressure. Yes, Dixon. There we go, baby. The 10. Touchdown. Dixon finally comes through here. He 
Dude, my O lineman, Florida State's D line just has to be beastly because, like, this is making me nervous. One, their 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 defensive end is running me down constantly. Two, this shit, like, what is going on here? I mean, that's tearing my guys to see. Oh, look at him flopping around like a fucking fish. Look at this. Look at this. Holy shit, dude. I mean, with, with the way you fucking step back, avoiding contact, you deserve to get your ass whipped like that. But holy cow. Unbelievable. Crazy that happens in behind the teams as well. I don't get it. It's wild. <laughs> like I feel, like, it's weird when you can say that you feel bad for a virtual person that's just getting their ass whooped. <laughs> He'll return it from the four yard line. They'll bring him down at the 25. The Huskies have really been all over the place. They're playing like a defense possessed. I love to watch a defense just. We finally had an interception, though. I probably had four drop picks this game, honestly. Attitude, and it's really paid off because it set up their offense to be able to score. Let's see how the defense responds now. Coming off that big they had more play just a moment ago. Like this. this quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. And now he's going to improvise. Oh my God, Tim Tebow! And he's down. They'll get the rebuild with Kent State. They made the correct decision they literally blow to through the line the every time I kick an extra point, but it's never blocked. So they drive right into my guy. Yeah, it's quarter. scary. Like it's. And yeah, I mean, it's got to be, it's got to just be that that player is just so much better rating-wise than mine. There's like our fifth dropped interception today, man. <laughs> and you know, it's like it's when we're trying to close the game out. So it's second and ten. <laughs> Ball on their own 45. But yeah, crazy. Cannot believe. Oh, shit. Steps out at about the 49. I'll take that. I'm finally punishing their quarterback. Their quarterback is just running all over me today. And Ted Gummit. I like that. I like that emote. They're showing blitz. And he throws it away. Going the five wide. Empty deck, please. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Gets it off as he's hit. Really? <laughs> he's knocked out of bounds around the 35-yard line. What else was I supposed to do there? First down. And what horrible man coverage. Five wide. <laughs> And they bring him down for a sack on the play. This Perfect season, I'm four and two. Took a bit of a chance, at the moment, um, the hopefully after this, I'll be five and two. And then and I've got the like, and the two losses that I do have were user games. Um, I only have one more user game left on this. No, no, I have two more user games left on the season. Um, <clears throat> so I'm hoping that we can still finish like ten and two or nine and three. That would obviously be a big one. What was this? Intercepted. I mean, I'll take it. I'll take the pick. <laughs> yeah, no, not bad. I mean, it's, it's been it's been rocky. I I'm really mad because one of the user games definitely was like um definitely was a fair match and everything like that came down to the wire. It was a great game. Just didn't pull it off on the last drive. No worries there. The last user game that I played, though, I got really upset, though, scrambling. because, nice, Drayton, I did formation substitutions going into that game, like, for a specific reason, because I wanted my, my receiver Ross in specific spots for that game, and then when I get into the game, because of all the formation substitutions that I made, it glitched the game to where... They, they put the players in the correct spots, but the routes for the players had switched. And so all of the concepts that I wanted to run were fucking ruined. So I couldn't run any of my, like, go-to concepts for, like, 
you know, being down in the game and stuff, so it was just extremely, extremely frustrating. And it, I mean, it cost me a game the other day, you know, because I had guys that were in the wrong spots, running the wrong routes, and then, you know, like, just, you know, tight ends running routes that a speed receiver needs to run and all sorts of shit. It was just not my day. Oh, wow, he probably would have won. Yeah, I mean, I, I really only lost that game. The score was a three touchdown spread, but that's because he, you know, the last minute of the game was trying to just run up clock or run up the score um, in garbage time. But it was really probably a two score game for the most part, most of the game. And I was up in the lead at the first two, and then I discovered the issue. And it all just kind of went downhill from there. <laughs> so. It sucked, but, you know, uh, hopefully we can see him lose because I need him to lose a user game or a conference game if I'm going to have a chance to, to win the conference. So I might not have a conference championship game this year. Um, but even so, um, you know, it probably would have, you know, would have helped my ranking, obviously. I just want to get Ross a touchdown, man. There we go. Kind of like Steve Spurrier back in the day. It's college football. I always run the score if I can. Yeah, yeah, I feel that. I, I do against computer teams all the time, but I don't. Uh, I don't really do it against user players. At, at least in my dynasty. Like if I was playing an online game, then sure. Like I don't really know the guy, so I'm gonna go ahead and just do what I think is fun because that's why I play the game. But for you know, like the online dynasty games and stuff, I I choose to kneel most of the time. I'm not trying to piss anybody off that's in the dynasty because it's kind of like we have to agree to play each other anyway so the last thing I want to do is like if I beat somebody piss them off to where they never want to play me again by running up the score if that makes sense I'd rather continue to play the guys that I know I can beat <laughs> touchdown yeah I like that emote too they also gotten them to turn it over twice this defense is still feeling the pressure of the passing game. Yeah, pretty decent uh, average. So if they can do more of that, it'll swing the pressure around. I'm sure there are a lot of fans out there hoping for a miracle, but I seriously doubt we're going to see one today. We bring the quarterback down. Can they didn't send pressure, man. That was just rushing three. Well, they need to start keeping their backs in to help out and block it. The quarterback is getting pounded back there. Stops the clock with a spike. What are you doing stopping the clock? <laughs> it's third and long. Ball in the twenty seven yard line. <clears throat> I was gonna say, is that a screen? will use their first time out of the half. It's over here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to redeem my quarterback a little bit. I'm gonna try to throw a throw a long one. I feel bad that I threw three interceptions with him today, basically because I was testing new formation substitutions, just you know, calling plays at the wrong time, but you know, wanting to make sure that they run properly and everybody's lined up in the right spot. This quarterback has certainly had better games in his college career. Well, I think even though he's a senior quarterback, you're still going to have games like this. The most important thing is he's got some experience to fall back on to realize that, hey, I can still get through this game and still be successful despite these mistakes. They moved the ball very effectively on their last drive, which ended with a touchdown. The defense has been talking it over on the sideline, trying to make some corrections. Let's see if they can stop them this time. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. And right now with this offense, they are in sync. And really, the timing and execution is wrong. Connecticut will have one timeout remaining. Uh. What's the game plan here? So the big gain resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and ten. Oh, 
<laughs> I didn't think it was going to be that easy, but... <laughs> There we go. Three touchdowns, three interceptions. I can live with that and not feel too bad. <laughs> I just feel bad whenever it's like totally my fault for my quarterback's interceptions. I want to try to make it right sometimes. The Huskies know that they all have right. to enjoy this guy while they've got him because some so that all down seems to have worked out fine. Level. Well, that'll definitely be in his future, but for now, he needs to sit back and just enjoy this performance and. And really, the play caller, the quarterback, the offensive line, the, receivers, the entire group is yeah, I think is, that is I'm, a whole. So next week, about their performance. is it a bye next week? I'll have to look that up, actually. Okay, what were the game stats in this one? I didn't run the ball hardly at all with my running back. Yeah, my other, my backup quarterback had to come in. He's probably going to be my starter next year, too. That's going to be a rough year next year. With a senior quarterback, that's probably only going to be like an 84 overall. Bruton had a good game. Two touchdowns, five-yard average. Ross had a good game. Drayton came up big. This guy's coming along, which is good. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. I gotta go find... I gotta go see if I got a user game next week or if I have a bye week next week. So I might be put on standby for a little bit. But that's kind of... That's where I'm at right now. I think I might, I might have a bye week. And so I'll be on hold for a while in this dynasty. I'm off to work, my guy. I caught in the stream. Keep kicking ass. Thanks, man. Hey, you too. Good good luck with your dynasty and everything going on. And uh, I hope to see you in here more. I'll uh, let's take a look at the schedule real quick because uh, I'm thinking that we'll probably sim tonight. So then, yeah, I got a bye week and then I play Duke. So it probably won't be till like the end of this week, like maybe Thursday or Friday evening that I play my next game that's a user game. So. I hope to keep seeing the stream though. I really appreciate when you come chat with me. It really helps me uh, helps me have somebody to talk to and get through this uh, enjoyably to where I have a lot of uh, commentary. So thanks for all the help and, and thanks for stopping by. Um, let's see here. I got stat wise, quarterback had a good game. Bruton's getting up there. Ross, man, I need to do more with you. I need Ross to get more. I still, like, my, my team leader of interceptions still has one interception. It's like everybody on my defense has one. Because I do have a decent amount of interceptions this year, I'm pretty sure, but it's just... Yeah, every... Seven guys have one interception. Nobody has two. I can tell you that they all have a lot of drops, though. There's no get. There's no getting past the dropsies. All right. Well, five and two. We should be ranked next week, so that's good. Um, okay. I'm gonna send the group messages in RTA here real quick. That way they can get their games knocked out. No, we're almost there.
So now the boys know that we're ready to go, and I want to go, and I want to fix one thing. One thing with my playbook. Let's load it up. Plays, I get three. Hmm. I remove plays. It's definitely going to be in the pistol. I actually need to check a bunch of those, though. Hold on, let me do the... Why is... Such a complicated process, and why do they have a limit? Okay. Oh shoot, I don't want to go leave. Yeah, the start of the playbook's here. Okay, so there's 12 plays in there. There's 9 plays. 12 plays. We need. This is one that we've got to get rid of some. Maybe. We get rid of two, and that's nine plays in the playbook. So. Pull back dive. Option, option, midline. Option path, that's fuckery. Play action middle, play action switch. A quick option could be something interesting, actually. Damn me, I'm just gonna fucking add that. That's 12. Down there. Six. 21. So is that really it? Was that one playbook and I noticed that? God, I am oh, I am OCD. No other way to describe it, man. Okay. One well, here. I have a better idea. Let's just go ahead and go to the pistol stuff and we'll take out dive and we'll put in whatever the one is that's the correct one that we really want alright here we go so halfback dive needs to be replaced by halfback slam I'm pretty sure whether it's slam yeah, it's gotta be slam. 
So let's hope. Did it dive. But yeah, it's slam. I really kind of want that one too, though. All right, let's keep that in mind. Now this one should develop and hit a lot quicker. There's dive. Oh. I can't get rid of dive on this one. That's okay. I don't really use that formation very often. If I do, I have an extra tight end to help blocking, so. Okay, get rid of dive. A little hatback zone. Get rid of dive. Dang it, man. So now... This will spread. I was able to get slam in that. That's important. As long as we accomplish that today, then we're Gucci. Wing over, I need to keep diving there. That's okay. Save this. Would you like to save? Yes. And we're going to go to a practice real quick just to make sure. Oh shit. What just happened? Why in the world did it just do that to me? Luckily, luckily we've already got exactly what needs to be done in our head. What a dumb game. <laughs> I definitely want the quick option, though. That's actually pretty sweet. Okay. Place dive was slam. Place dive was slam. Place dive was slam. Oh my gosh, why is my computer like, or not my computer, my controller is like la lagging. I think that you guys are hearing me push the button. There's nothing I could do about this one. This one, however, we can go to zone. <clears throat> nothing about that one. And yeah, we're done. And we're gonna save this time. Yes, I do. Sure you want to overwrite? Yes, I do. Whew. Why this game is so stressful, even when I'm not playing in the fucking game. Alright, now we're gonna go to practice, we're gonna make sure these work. And I'll probably hop off here shortly.
What are we here for? Gonna... <laughs> Alright, that one we weren't able to change, but this one... It should be zone. What am I seeing the most of? Let's do this one. I don't know. Actually, it is the dollar that I hate the most, isn't it? Nice, and it's the audible. Well, it still kind of takes a while to fucking hand off. Let's go! Blue in the air! Check, check! 98 Weasel! 98 Weasel! Ready! Well, the cutback's definitely there, though. No longer dive, it's now slam. And if we audible, all of our audibles look good, and now our audibles counter. Honestly, it wasn't bad. Yeah, slam definitely hits faster, which I like. But, um, if our audible has to be to a counter play, so be it. I'm cool with that, because that's it also a quick hit run game. And I kind of like the counter out of this formation, so I'm cool with it. Yeah, that hits so much better. Okay, let's try it. This will be the moment of truth is this one here. I'm really hoping that it stays as the... Yes, and it's the audible. We are in business. That's so awesome. Yeah, it's so much faster. I don't have to feel nervous about a handoff getting hit in the backfield much anymore now because of that. Okay. Were there any others? Maybe bunch. Bunch of slam also now. Okay. Let's see. Nice. Let's go. Red 18. Check, check. And the audible slam. Awesome. Red, check, check. Red, check, check. Here we go. No way that will hurt. Why is my line block so much better in practice than in real games? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Okay, Bruton, I see you. Breaking tackles in practice, never in a fucking game though. Thanks, man. <laughs> Got some Skyrim play going on. All right, well, I'm really, really happy with that, so.
cool, cool, cool. All right, y'all. That's where I'm gonna go ahead and end it today. Then I uh, want to thank you guys for following along. We had two followers today, man, up to that 169 follower count, almost 170. Um, we were able to beat Florida State pretty handily. It this score did not reflect how difficult that was, though. Although I will say that I was experimenting a lot, so maybe don't. You know, I don't know. I, you could take it both ways, in my opinion. So. Um, it looks like I have a bye week next week, so it's probably going to be another few days, maybe four days until I get another game, but the next game is a user game, so I would anticipate that game being played on Thursday or Friday this week, um, and that'll be against Duke, uh, which that guy has been in the league, but he just took over Duke as a new team. He wanted to get away from his other team, I think, which was Middle Tennessee State. So, um, anyways, we're kind of rocking and rolling with this, and uh, we will be streaming other NCAA, and I'm going to get back onto Silent Hill 3 here soon whenever I get... I just need a little bit more energy. Since I was sick over the weekend, I just kind of feel exhausted, so that's why I'm not streaming as long now and stuff, and I just, you know, it's a game that you really need to be awake and, like, able to focus and pay attention to, and I just want to make sure that I can, you know, go... A full two hour stream without my eyes getting like real heavy on me and shit so because I want to I want to appreciate it and I really want to enjoy it so um anyways likely that's that's uh what I'll be playing next is either some more of the offline dynasty or some silent hill um and then on the weekends I'm gonna keep trying to play mass effect so I hope that you guys are happy with something that you guys can follow along with and you guys keep checking out my streams and my YouTube videos and uh, we'll be back probably tomorrow with some more of something don't know yet probably not Mass Effect though it'll, it'll be NCAA or it'll be Silent Hill 3 which I'm really enjoying Silent Hill 3 I just you know like I said I want to make sure that I'm in the zone to play that game so um, anyways thank you guys for watching and uh, I hope to see you in the next video see you guys